August 15, the day they had been planning for months, had finally arrived. The cabin, nestled deep in the Maryland woods, was a haven of rustic charm and crackling fire. Sarah, the designated grill master, expertly flipped burgers on the charcoal grill while Liam strummed a guitar, his voice harmonizing with the chirping crickets. The others, Emily, David, and Mark, sprawled on the picnic blanket, their faces turned towards the setting sun, the warmth of friendship enveloping them. Suddenly, the air turned thick with a strange, pungent smell. It was a mix of earth and musk, something primal and unsettling. David, the most observant of the group, was the first to notice the rustling in the undergrowth. He froze, his eyes wide, then whispered, Guys, look! A towering shadow emerged from the woods, its massive frame silhouetted against the fading light. It was a Himalayan bear, a creature that seemed out of place in their idyllic Maryland haven. The group watched, hearts pounding in their chests, as the bear lumbered towards them, its eyes fixed on the overflowing picnic table. Panic surged through them, but the bear's demeanor was strangely calm. It lowered its massive head, sniffing the air, then sat down at the table, its presence radiating an unexpected serenity. Emily, the most daring of the group, tentatively offered a burger. The bear, without hesitation, reached out with a massive paw, snatched the burger, and devoured it in a single bite. The sight of a bear, let alone a Himalayan bear, calmly joining their picnic was surreal. They were both terrified and strangely fascinated. This wasn't the ferocious predator they had read about in books. It was. Friendly? As if sensing their apprehension, the bear rumbled a soft growl, a sound more like a purr than a threat. It looked at them with intelligent eyes, seeming to invite them to share their feast. But they knew. They knew better than to feed wild animals, especially a bear this large. Their initial fascination morphed into a wave of concern. What if the bear's behavior was just a facade? What if it was a desperate act of survival? The decision was unanimous. They needed to contact the wildlife services. The specialists arrived within an hour, their calm demeanor a stark contrast to the group's growing anxiety. We need to scare it away, they said, handing the group a loud air horn. It's not safe for the bear, nor for you. They watched with bated breath as the bear, seemingly unfazed by their presence, continued to devour the remnants of their picnic. David, feeling a strange kinship with the animal, stepped forward and blew the horn. The loud blast echoed through the forest, causing the bear to startle. It reared up on its hind legs, its eyes wide with surprise, then let out a roar that seemed to shake the very ground beneath them. The bear turned and lumbered back into the woods, its massive form disappearing into the gathering dusk.